I'm still doing what I'm doing and I'm, I'm just as passionate and I'm extremely into continuing the work here in Hawaii because Hawaii needs to be the model. We can't just point fingers. We can't just say there's the problem because they can say, hey, if Hawaii's not doing it, or if the US isn't doing it, why should we? So here in Hawaii, we need to become the model of a community that is taking care of their plastics, not only through cleaning the beaches, but more importantly, through our consumer behaviors, reducing the amount of plastics we're using. One of our major campaigns is called Rise Above Plastics. And what we do is are kind of making people aware of marine plastic pollution, which uh, we have, you know, millions of tons in our oceans of plastic debris. And these are the things we're kind of focusing on are single-use plastics. Now those are plastics that we use for five or ten minutes that we never use again, and yet they last in the environment for decades and decades. Uh, plastic bags, plastic cups, plastic utensils, straws, uh, things of convenience, we don't need them. And so we're trying to educate people because we find them at all our cleanups. The throwaway culture is it's just killing our, our planet. So, so many plastics, um, so many trash, uh, marine debris, land debris. You know, just one day you come out with us, uh, do a beach cleanup with us, and see, you know, what's really going on. And maybe we can, you know, help this uh, planet be a, a better place. Anybody can make a difference. It takes initiative and we just want to empower people to realize that they can make a difference even if it's something small that you do, whether it's picking up a piece of trash or a plastic bottle that you see at the beach, in the water, or on a hike. Anybody can make a difference and we are here to empower you and give you the tools, training, and supplies to do that with whatever you want to do. Our mission, our goal is to make Hawaii cleaner, safer, and more beautiful for everyone. So we are at the hikes that you go to, we are at the beaches that you go to, we are in your neighborhoods, at your playgrounds. Whatever it takes, we will help you and inspire you to bring your communities and restore them to how they're truly supposed to be. By refusing single-use plastics, you are a part of the movement. You can't make it to a beach cleanup. You can clean the beach when you're at the grocery store. You can clean the beach when you're getting your cup of coffee by bringing your own reusable bottle. First and foremost is use less plastic in your life. That is the best way to help the environment right now. Just say no to straws, just say no to water bottles, just say no to plastic bags, bring your own, bring your own everything you can and you are helping the ocean. And if you look at society as a whole, the issues that we're facing, um, there's always going to be that struggle in society to combat um, neglect and issues getting ignored and pushed aside and pushed forward and not actually handled. And so part of what we're doing is, you know, plants being a baseline um, to get people thinking, you know what, I can take action on this. I don't have to wait for someone else. I don't have to, you know, just complain about it. I can do something about it today. Kokua means to help, to lend a hand. And throughout the entire island chain of Hawaii, and throughout Island Earth, we need all of you to help, to join in, to lend a hand to Kokua. It takes all of us who care for the world, who care for our oceans, who care for our forests, and every species on, on planet Earth to do everything we can. We need each other. We need you. Let's all malama and work together to support the Earth. Hawaii has always been a breathing and living entity. It's always been like, how you treat your mother, I guess you could say. For me, it's always been about taking care of it as much as you can. It's a living, breathing thing. And as long as you take care of it, it will give back to you. We have a beautiful community. We have tons of fun together. We're being a positive force in the world. And really that unity coming together for a shared vision for a clean future um, and helping the environment is such a beautiful thing. And it's really joyful to live in alignment in that way and meet other people who want to do good in the world. So. Please join us, it's a wonderful thing and it feels good. You go home feeling amazing every day when you do work like this. These are the signs of the times that we live in because we've been become disconnected to the resources. We're taking something that we made out of fossil fuels and oils and using it once and chucking it to end up here, to, to pollute the very places that we love. Our message through Surfrider 
and connecting with groups like Sustainable Coastlines or Nakamakai or Malama Pupukea Waimea or the Polynesian Voyaging Society. It's a message of we have to come back together as a community and we have to recognize these issues and we can change them, change our behaviors and change our community behaviors because we have the power of this wonderful place, this place that we all love, this place that we all want to protect. There's no place to go except to go forward and reconnect with our natural resources from Malka to Makai and make the changes that we know are possible through our community organizations. One of our main things that we really want to get across to people is that this land is for everyone, this coastal area, and it's so fragile. And in the, this era of climate change and sea level rise, we have to protect the coastal area. Nakamakai literally means children of the sea. But to me, Nakamakai is uh, being of the ocean. And being of this beautiful ocean that we have, we're in the Pacific Ocean, Oceania. And the reality is that this wonderful resource of ours connects us to the rest of the world and is what makes all of us have one commonality, you know, and that is our oceans. And together we really got to unify in one common goal to, um, to preserve what we have, but not only preserve our ocean, but to make it better, to bring our oceans back to a state in which we could say represents 200 years ago. You know, we're going to be losing our reefs if we don't make quick reactions uh, to the global warming right now. You know, whether it's naturally happening, whether it's people making global warming happen, it doesn't matter. We have to make changes. We have to protect our reefs and our oceans. Our ocean creates 50% of our oxygen. That's, that's hard to deny setting the purpose towards being committed to the water being committed to our oceans and um, you know when when our rubbish is showing up on your coastline it's shame on us and when your rubbish is showing up on our coastlines it's shame on you so really we don't want to be in that place where we play ignorant to to how fragile and how beautiful our oceans are we know better we're all smart enough to know better so let's unite together as a world and put our ocean as a priority before money our ocean as a priority before ourselves. And let's make this place better for seven generations from now. Aloha. Let's grow the movement!